What's up, money? I've got a good one for you today. But first, for all my leverage traders out there, check out Marjek. Super easy to use. It requires no KYC, so you keep your personal information to yourself. And they're powered by TradingView, so something very familiar. I'll leave a link to them in my description down below. So I want to talk about Dogecoin. Should people even be bullish on this thing? Like, should you even bother hold this thing? I mean, it's left the top 10. It feels like every meme coin that gets created, everyone wants it to flip Dogecoin. And it's been trading sideways forever, like forever. So I want to talk about that today. Now, I came across this article right here. Dogecoin drops out of top 10. Are its glory days over? Well, I'm going to quickly answer that one right there. I'm just going to answer it straight up. Dogecoin's glory days are over when Elon Musk says its glory days is over. The second you see Elon Musk tweet out, hey, you know what? I'm doing nothing with Dogecoin. That's when it's officially over for Dogecoin. That's for sure. But as of right now, the glory days are not over, in my opinion. Let's go back to the article. It, further on, it goes on to say, the recent removal of Dogecoin from the top 10 cryptocurrency underscores a fluid and ever-evolving nature of the digital currency landscape. With Chainlink ascending to the top 10, Doge now finds itself relegated to an outsider position. This signals a change in investor sentiment and priorities. Is that true? I mean, let's be honest, this isn't the first time Dogecoin has left the top 10 position and it just finds itself right back into the top 10 position. Look at this. So right now, Chainlink is sitting at 11 billion 735 million, right? Dogecoin is sitting at 11 billion 721 million as I'm recording this right now. That's neck and neck. As far as I'm concerned, Dogecoin is going to find its way straight back into the top 10. The thing, though, I will say is there's a lot of great layer one projects in the top 100 on CoinMarketCap. So it is possible that maybe one of those projects could end up entering top 10 and then it's going to be very hard for Dogecoin to remain in top 10. But I will say this, though. Dogecoin is still the number one meme coin. So even if it does leave top 10, that doesn't really matter. It's still got a position in the top 50. And I think it's going to always remain there, at least for a very, very long time. If you look at the closest meme coin to Doge, that's Shiba. And that's sitting at spot number 17 with a market cap of just over 5 billion. So it's still quite ways away from Dogecoin. How many of us now, I am completely guilty of this, but I've said same with a lot of people. Anytime a fancy meme coin comes out, we're just like, oh, this is going to be the one that flips Dogecoin. And it just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Remember Bonk? So I thought Bonk had like great potential. As of right now, it still has great potential, but it's just sitting at spot number 87 on CoinMarketCap. This doesn't look like it's going to flip Dogecoin anytime soon. It could, you never know. But remember the whole thing with Shiba Inu flipping Dogecoin, they went back and forth a couple times. But in the end, Dogecoin won. Why did Dogecoin won? I mean, can you really beat Dogecoin when it's sitting at 3.9 million followers on Twitter? The community for Dogecoin is massive. Everybody wants to see this thing succeed. And I think it's got a very, very good chance. But it's just like, is there any meme coin that could really succeed Dogecoin? I don't know. Even Myro. You know, Myra had a bit of a run, the Solana meme coin. We thought, hey, maybe it's got potential. But there's a lot of fun around that one. And right now on core market cap, Myro is sitting somewhere around 400 and something. So that's not going to happen, right? So now the question is, should you even still be bullish on Dogecoin? Is there even a point of holding it? I mean, when you look at the charts here, so on the day it's doing nothing, but if you go a month out it's still doing nothing it still hasn't done anything you go out one year it still hasn't done anything right so is there even really a point of holding on to dogecoin at this point or should you just let it go well obviously if you're down on dogecoin you might as well just hold it and see what happens with the whole elon musk but it has been a couple years let's be honest if he hasn't done anything yet i don't know but there's 
still this whole X payment. So there's definitely still hope. But my thing is, everybody wants to see Dogecoin reach $1. Now, if you bought into Dogecoin at 10 cents or higher, is it really worth seeing if it goes to $1? That's the thing, right? Because how many X's, how much return on your investment are you really going to see? Because it's not really going to go much higher than a dollar if, and that's a big if, it does reach $1, okay? I always say if you're going to invest in meme coins, you want to see at least a minimum of a 25x to a 50x. You want to be able to have those potentials. Now, obviously, you should be taking profits on the way up all the time when it comes to meme coins. But that potential should always be there. I don't know if that potential is there for something like Dogecoin. The market cap is so high. I don't know. You're going to have to make that decision for yourself. It's really if it's really worth holding on to. But yeah, I'm curious what if what everyone's doing with Dogecoin. I haven't really I don't really hear people talk much about it nowadays. It's like just completely mute, just like the charts here, like nothing's going on with it. But are you still holding Dogecoin or you're not holding Dogecoin? Do you think it's a waste of time and you need to move on to other meme coins? Because there's a lot of meme coins that's been making people a lot of money recently. So let me know what you're all what everyone what you all think about Dogecoin right now. Um, let me know in the comment section below. But that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Peace.